Hello, everybody. I'm here with another uh, video, as I promised you. Uh, this is the third video in the series that I'm showing you how you can easily um, simulate dynamic systems uh, using Simulink toolbox of MATLAB. So you've already seen two videos, hopefully one that just basic showing or displaying a signal, a sine wave, and adding two signals. One was the concept of uh, underdamped, overdamped, and critically damped for a typical mechanical system consisting of mass, spring, and damper. Here I have just a mass and spring. So there's no viscous damping. So you know that the differential equation of this guy is going to be x double dot, or we can actually say mx double dot, which is mass times acceleration, plus the force of the spring, which is kx, is equal, is equal to the input force. So the input though, I'm going to um, uh, have it as a sine wave and I'll tell you why. So you also know uh, that if you divide by the mass and you could also divide this side obviously by the mass, um, the, this ratio of K over M is denoted by natural frequency squared. Omega N means a natural frequency, is the natural frequency of the system. Or omega N would be then square root of K over M. Now, it turns out that if the natural frequency of the system is very close to the natural frequency of your input. So let's say if the input happens to be some sine wave, uh, some amplitude, right? Uh, with either sine or actually cosine doesn't matter. And to distinguish between the frequency of the natural frequency of the system, right? Square root of K over M and the frequency of the input, this guy being the input, right? We're going to call this omega dr, driving frequency. By the way, I do have a video, the, the detail of this uh, on YouTube, and i um, probably put the link underneath this uh, video so you can go and see the, the, the detail of the derivations and what the equations look like and so on. Anyways, so if the driving frequency, so dr stands for driving or the input frequency, if omega dr is very close to omega n, will have the beat concept or beat phenomenon. I will show you in a minute on um, using the Simulink uh, in MATLAB, how you could easily show this concept. So basically what happens, the solution to this becomes some amplitude, uh, whatever, A, zero. And you will have two sine waves uh, of the, some of the driving frequency and the natural frequency uh, divided by two, and then the difference of the driving frequency and the natural frequency divided by two. So you have one sine wave uh, riding on top of another sine wave, and that creates a beat if these two frequencies, omega n and omega dr, are equal. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to set in a minute mass equal to one kilogram just for convenience and K equal four Newtons per meter. So you see the natural frequency becomes the square root of four over one, which is two radians per second, right? And what if I decide that the driving frequency is for example, 2.1. So that's very close, all right? So that would be the, uh, the beat concept. And I will show you in a minute how this will look like, by the way, as we try to use the, um, the transfer function scheme, right? You've seen in another video that the transfer function of such a system would be with the mass of one and K of four would be one over S squared plus four. Of course, uh, we are saying that this system is only being subjected to this force, a harmonic force, a sine wave or a cosine wave, right? And there is no initial uh, conditions are zero. So you've seen in the past that we're gonna bring a sine wave, right? And that would be our input. We're going to hit it 
hit our transfer function or our plant with this. And then you're gonna have a scope. So I'm gonna show you two cases actually. One case would be the concept of beat, which is this guy, the driving frequency is very close to the natural frequency. And the other one is the concept of resonance, which is when the driving frequency or input frequency is exactly the same as the natural frequency. So in other words, I'm gonna pick a two here, which is the same as the two here. And then that's known as the resonance. So why don't we go and start looking at the MATLAB. So you, as you've seen in the past, you could initiate the um, Simulink toolbox by just writing Simulink or click on just the Simulink icon here, right? The one here. All right. So once you get the Simulink, you want to open a blank model or click on this. So you get your blank model. And right away, you want to bring the library browsers. I have to tell you that I'm using the 2020 version of the MATLAB. Um, so I keep going back and forth. Uh, so I'm using my Surface now, and I have the 2020 version on it. And on my a PC uh, laptop, uh, I have the 2018, the older version. And there are some minor differences in where things are. So click on the library browser, right? And remember, we talked about this. You can go to the continuous and get your transfer function, drag and drop, right? To just put this guy over here. Then we need also in a minute, the sync and source. Source being the, um, the input, we need a sine wave. So we'll go down, oops, we want it to go down here and get our sine wave. So drag and drop, I'll put it right here. So that's the input. And finally, a sync, which would be just a simple scope. So we'll just drag the scope and put it right here. So we are done with the library browsers. So why don't we just do our attachment, connect and connect simply Click and drag and connect. Okay, let's take care of the transfer function. Remember our transfer function, you just saw a minute ago, should be what? S squared plus four. So in the numerator, we should just have a one. And remember these come in like in bracket form. And in the denominator, we should have a one for S squared term, a zero for S term, right? And a four. So this is one, zero, four, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's go back. So we double click on this guy. So we need a one, right? In the numerator. And as I said, one, zero, and four. If you just put two items, we'll take it as a first order system. This is a second order system. We have a mass and a spring. So we just say apply. Okay. What about our sine wave? So remember right now, let me go actually go back and open this up so you can see that actually this is what we have, right? I like these lines to be straight. Actually, it doesn't really matter. So here we go. This is our transfer function, sine wave. What did we say? First, we want to, you know, look at the um, concept of beat. So amplitude really is not important here. It could be anything, one, two, five, six, whatever. But what is important is I want to make this close to our what? Our natural frequency. Remember our natural frequency is two, so I said 2.1. Apply, okay. And we are ready to hit this. Why don't we just do this for a longer period of time, maybe 40 seconds or so, and just hit the run. Right, and once it's done, it's, co uh, it's, it's compiling, um, we'll then click on the scope and we should see our, there we go, it's gonna come, there we go. So actually the 40 second doesn't uh, give you a good idea, a good picture of what's going on. Why don't we change this to like uh, 300 seconds, how about that? And we run it again. 
There we go. That's the beat concept, guys. And then if you want to make your um, your um, curves smoother, I mean, we can run this maybe for 120 seconds, 150 seconds. And then I'll show you, I, I've shown you in the past how to make this smoother. That became 1500. I don't want that. That's too long. 150, right? And then one other thing, guys, if you go under modeling, uh, model setting, remember this is in 2020 version model settings here and remember you could make your curve smoother by having more data point or more calculation done go on the data import and export additional parameters and you've seen this in the other video the refined factor has to be larger maybe a thousand right apply and okay let's run it one more time and let's look at the scope and I think this time you would see a much better situation. You see, uh, the, the beat frequency is from here zero to somewhere here. Again, if you see my other video, you uh, see how you can calculate actually this uh, beat period. All right. This concept is used in tuning instruments, by the way, like a piano or a guitar or something like that. All right. Let me show you the resonance. Remember guys, resonance was what? When we make the frequency of this guy, our sine wave equal to what? Exactly the same as what? The natural frequency. So we want our omega dr to be what? Two. So let's go back and we just have to change, minor change here in our input. All, that's all we have to do is to change this to a two. And we run this again. And we'll take a look at the scope. Wow, look at this. Resonance is dangerous, guys, for mechanical systems, uh, of course. See, what, what is happening, the solution to something like this is that you see this, this envelope here. Um, let me actually open this up. This linear envelope that you see here is actually your T that is uh, over time is increasing the amplitude is increasing and then eventually the system is going to break in other words your spring is going to get separated the solution to this is of some form so when the fre natural frequency of the system and driving frequency are the same you will get something like this some amplitude sometimes t times sine i believe is omega nt so this is the t that creating problem so what will happen Resonance is very dangerous for mechanical systems and the system will collapse. Of course, if you have a damper or friction, you can control that amplitude. But the amplitude, as you saw in this picture, in the, uh, the scope, is going to increase as the time increases. So this is only 150 seconds and the amplitude has reached almost, uh, look, almost 40, okay? And imagine if you run this over five minutes or so. It's gonna be really crazy, okay? So as always guys, thank you for uh, watching and uh, listening. And uh, uh, I'll come up with more videos for you. And if you like the video, please uh, subscribe and I'll have more videos. Thank you again.